Hello, everybody. I'm Cesar Enquist with Hot Takes. Today, I'm interviewing Ms. Schultz. Hello. Today's going to be a good interview. Uh, I have a lot of fun questions, hopefully planned. All right. Can you introduce yourself, please, to yeah. the camera and tell of us a little about yourself? Of course. Um, my name is Peyton Schultz. I am the horticulture teacher here at the East Cooper Center for Advanced Studies. This is my second year with the district, second year with the program, and today I decided to torture myself with some hot sauce. Yeah. yeah. All right. Going straight into it. Uh, last time we kind of ran over time, so I'm trying to, I'm on a little bit of a heater today. Like uh, crunch? Open, yeah. Okay. Not too much of, not a crunch, but like. I'm not going to dilly-dally at all, so. All right. God. All right. First one, I like it. It's good. First four are great. Okay. Okay. We'll just. Whoop, that was a little. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. A good garlic taste to it. Yep. I like it. It's hot sauce for sure. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Compliments the cold chicken that you got me really well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it before school and not open. <laughs> All right. What do you do in horticulture? What do I do in horticulture? Um, I play with plants. Mm -hmm. The program, we have everything from greenhouse to floriculture, to landscape. So I get to teach kids how to drive tractors. I get to teach kids basic biology. I get to teach kids how to put together a boutonniere. Hmm. So a little bit of everything. Well, wow. yeah. Do you grow peppers? Do I go what? Peppers. Do I grow peppers? Absolutely. Nice. Yes. Good we question. do have some in the greenhouse Ooh. right now. Might can grab one. <laughs> All right, this is Yellowbird Bliss and Vinegar. All right. Sweeter one. This one has strawberries in it. Ooh. I love strawberries. Strawberries, coconut. It's a vinegar-based one, though. That's some good stuff right there. Mm-hmm. Like that, like that. Mm. Doing good so far? Yeah. First ones are easy. Yeah. Once it ramps up, I want to be faster in the beginning. Because we so we can slow down during the end and take yeah. our time. All right. Do you like living here or Illinois more? Hmm. That's an easy question. Here. Hmm. Nice. One hundred percent. There are certain things I like about mm, certain things I like about Missouri. I lived really close to St. Louis. The um, the whole state of Illinois subpar, but mm -hmm. it's much better. Uh, warmer weather. Less taxes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What would the teacher pay here, though? Better. Really? Yes. Missouri has a lower pay than? Illinois has, yes, much lower pay. Wow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was actually not expecting that, yeah. to be honest. I was like, like oh, yeah, because the teacher pay here is like one of the lowest in the country. So. Yeah. Starting pay in Illinois would have been quite a bit lower. I'm glad you're getting paid better here. Horticulture is a very cool topic that I'm sure Yeah. a lot of people can benefit from from learning. Yeah. I didn't have, you know, didn't know what to expect with a town that was, you know, pretty close to a big city. Mm. But we've had a good turnout in the program. Yeah. So that's good. All right. Number three. All right. Cheers. Let's go for it. I like that one, too. Mm -hmm. They're all good so far. They're all good. This one's not good. <laughs> Everyone agrees that one's awful. Is that, that's, that, is that the turning point? Yeah, I would say so. Okay, great. It's, this is the first turning point. This one's the that's the big one. Mm -hmm. That one's the big one. Yeah. I can see that. Do you think more schools need to introduce craft areas like our fab lab? I think so. I, like from where I come from, we didn't have anything like the CIS in general, mm -hmm. but definitely not something like that. And I, my program has been able to use so many different aspects of the fab lab program into our curriculum. Nonetheless, like 
just to allow students to have a brain break is huge. Yeah. Um, and sometimes kids will make me bracelets, which is cool. Oh, well, that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing you've made in the Fab Lab? Mm, one of those where you put like the beads and then you you like the perler iron beads. It. I love the perler beads. Uh, it's just full nostalgia. It's wonderful. Exactly. I love it. I made a little CIS logo. Nice. I'm trying to make something and then I tripped and I spilled it everywhere and it, it, I was in real pain. Uh, it hurt real bad. It just it hurt mentally and emotionally after it, it takes a long time. Yeah. So doing all that just I to, did spend an afternoon in there organizing by bead color just just because I thought about doing that. It was kind of relaxing. All right. Number 4. All right. That one also is very good. I love these first four. They're delicious. They make me feel good. And now we're on to number five. Yeah. No, no good. Not good. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Would you rather retire on a ranch or a beach house? Mm. Probably a ranch. Actually, my dream job for a really long time was to be what they call a stock contractor for the Professional Bull Riding Association. Wow. So I love cows and I love bull riding. It's an awesome sport. So, yeah, definitely the ranch, because then I could have my bowls and have my dream job, finally. Not yeah. that teaching isn't wonderful. Yeah, but yeah. ranch life is fun. Mm -hmm. And like then vacation at the beach. Exactly. Perfect. You can't really vacation at a ranch. Yeah. You kind of can, yeah. but, like, vacation at a beach is better. Yes. For sure. All right, number five, the gross one. At this point, I feel like there's chicken in my teeth, so that'll be fun for your viewers. I'll zoom in. <laughs> Thanks. And we do like do like a quarter sized for these. Okay. Nice. All right, number five. Let's get through it. All right. That tastes like NyQuil. Yeah. Spicy NyQuil. That's spicy NyQuil. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Whoever invented that, I need to go. Whew. Ew. Could you imagine spending money on that just to try and eat normally? No. 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 Mm -mm. Who would like that? Someone who enjoys NyQuil. I feel like the people who eat that live in like the panhandle of Oklahoma. Just at like that weird stretch that just goes along okay. for a very long way. I feel like yeah. that's what they have. I can see that. Yeah. I'm gonna get milk now. Okay. Because I'm not trying to suffer. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing three of these in like two weeks, back to back. So Is your tolerance getting any better? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. These first four, well, actually, I've had a really good tolerance. I just never liked it. These first four, at the beginning, I was like, eh. Now I actually like them. Yeah. So my tolerance has been good. Like, the first time, I think I made it all the I can't remember what sauce I made it to without milk when I did it with Mr. Fob. I went far, though. It was, like, the second to last one or the last one with no milk. That's funny. But, <clears throat> but I also don't like milk that much, but I've also started to like milk a little bit more. <laughs> From this show, <laughs> just from having it a good bit. My husband is a huge hot sauce person. Really? So I'm just kind of like forced to try it every now and then. My mom is a hot sauce person, so that's yeah. how I am. Uh, in my mind, why torture yourself? Yeah. But hey, to each their own. And now you're here. You see, you were so excited about this. and I <laughs> was just a little bit offended because I'm one of the coolest teachers in the yeah. CS. So exactly. Yeah. You got recommended all. twice, I think, and then I was like, I have to get her on. I but. mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. 
top three restaurants Mount, around Mount Pleasant that students should check out. Mm. Okay. Um, probably basic because I have only been here for two years. Yeah. So I'm still exploring. But um, locals, sushi. Locals is great. I, I love mean, locals. You the buy one get one. You can't beat it. Mm -hmm. So many options. Um, not really a rest a restaurant, but the Crazy Mason. I've heard of that. So good. Really? You're gonna you're gonna drop like fifteen bucks on some ice cream, yeah. but it's worth it because you're getting like ice cream and then a waffle, like it's a whole meal. Gotcha. Um, and then again, gonna sound bad, but like Canes. Great. I love Canes. Yeah. Amazing. Love Canes. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of variety in there. Exactly. <laughs> Have you ever checked out uh, Fuji? I haven't. I I've been to both locals in Fuji, and I think Fuji's better. Yeah. Just by I'll a little have bit. To try it. It's because more like it's actual more authentic. Mm -hmm. Just like instead of like the, the kind of like bar and sushi, which yeah. I love. I do like that. I'm excited about there's a new one, new locals opening up right next to my house. Mm -hmm. So very excited to go there. It's actually right next to the Fuji that I go to as well. Oh well, and that home team, you guys are getting home team. Yeah. That's my favorite restaurant in this entire Tri County area. Would you like the home team piece we did? Yes, the Alabama white sauce. I could put that on everything for the rest of my life. It's really good. I'd be so happy. All right. What are we on? This one? Yeah. Six. This one's a big one. I, find, I always find this, like, spicier. Like, all right, now this is ramping up a bit, but then, like, the guests don't, so I've kind of stopped saying that. But I hopefully that you find it, like, okay, this is actually some – this is kicking. Okay. I'm surprised I'm not, like, sweating or yeah. anything bad yet. But – I probably shouldn't say that because it's probably about to happen. The thing I do is that, um, so the more back to back you do these sauces, I feel like the less you tell the difference between the spice. Yeah. So that's why we're going through the early ones really fast so that we can take our time on the last three yeah. and really suffer through each one individually. Awesome. I love suffering. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. Did a lot of this. Number six. It's very black peppery. Yeah. It's starting to get hot now. Yeah. A little spicy. But that's the first one that I would actually call like real hot. <clears throat> yeah. Like the other ones are hot, but it's like, okay, you can take a drink of water and you'll be fine. Yeah. But this one, this one kicks a little bit. Mm -hmm. When we first did this, that was the sauce where I was like, uh oh. <laughs> like when I first did I'm like, all right. Everything else, cakewalk. No problem at all. I could do that whole bottle in a day if I really yeah. wanted to. But it's number six, I was like, ooh, yep. okay. That one lingers. This is gonna this is gonna start ramping up and I'm not gonna like it. I think this orange juice thing is working now. Really? I got on Google last night. Mm hmm Just to see like what prevents you no. from dying of spiciness. And they said acidic things. Hmm. The idea of milk and wings just, mm-mm. Really? Yeah. What that grosses think? me out. What do you think about milkshakes and fried chicken? I mean... A vanilla milkshake with fried chicken. Yeah. I get where you're coming from. Have you heard of the KFC fried chicken milkshake? No. I've never had it. But apparently, there was a very high praise behind it. It's does it sound gross, but it's vanilla. It's a vanilla ice cream mm -mm. shake with chicken blended in it, and then one finger. It's not on even top. chicken flavoring. They put like the whole. But a real, they put a real fried chicken tender, and blend it in. That's illegal. Apparently, it was, hey, it had great reviews. And probably by the same people that like yeah, number prob five. Probably in the panhandle of Oklahoma, <laughs> it had great <laughs> reviews, but. I don't oh, know. No. I kind of want to try it just because I'm interested in it, but it's like, mm -mm. I feel like I might have indigestion yes. after that. That like, just sounds... Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm going to pass. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Just making sure we're on the right question. I haven't skipped any. Would you rather spend the day with Alex or Harper? Oh. Well, currently, Alex. Yes. Because my husband's been gone on deployment. Oh, I understand. 
But my dog's life is shorter. Yes. So, like, in any other situation, my dog. A respectable answer. (laughs) So, your husband. Yes. Husband who's in the military on deployment or the dog. That was the question, basically. Yeah. All right. This one is a little bit stuck at the top. Get it a little mixed up. There we go. Yeah. I like this one. This was Mr. Sneed's favorite, I think. Okay. Because Anything green in Spicy World kind of concerns me a little. But it's also, it's like, I agree with that. I feel like there's a lot of really good green stuff. <laughs> and I really am like, I'll, but it's also usually spicy. Mm-hmm. Hey, I've started to like that one now. It is very spicy, though. So I was very concerned about the, the amount I put on. <laughs> well, I'm just going for it today. Yeah, we're, you know, you only you only live once. Yep, and you only do this show about seven times. Yes, so I guess in your I gotta. Case. Whew. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Perspiration. Definitely. Mm-hmm. You're gonna love the next one. Pumped. Mm. Am I doing better than Banker? I don't know. You're a champ. You're about about the same. Sneed? So no. Sneed is Horrible? killer. No, he's insane. Oh. He took that alt easy. How about Fabiano? Um, he did all right. He did it with no no milk or anything to the end. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. psychopath tendencies. He's bald, it makes sense. True. Well, yeah. He gathered energies from the sun. Mm-hmm. Just goes right in. Yeah. All right. Um, if there was anything you can add to your programs, what would it be? Mm. Selfishly, any any sort of animal science. Yeah. And really make it a well-rounded ag program. Because, wow, you guys can't necessarily have pigs and cows in the middle of, you know, Carolina Park. Mm-hmm. It still is such a valuable thing to understand, like, where all of your food and fiber and natural resources come from. Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen how many people go and see Billy the Goat when he comes here. Mm-hmm. Popular dude. So I think it'd be awesome to have some goats on campus. What about chickens? Like a little chicken goat area? I've had chickens. They are spawns of the devil, yeah, for sure. One hundred percent. Um, they smell. They wake you up early. They're disgusting. Mm-hmm. But hey, if kids want chickens, we'll get some chickens. Blanket ship. Let's get some chickens. He's on next. I'll make sure to ask yes. that. Yes. Would you be okay if there was a chicken area in the CAS? Yeah. He not an animal animal guy, so you really? need to get him really mm. good for that. Yeah. Because if you're not an animal person, it's a little sketchy. Yeah. He's the principal. He should be an animal person. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. You're doing great on time, by the way. We have so much time left to just savor these. Great. We have awesome. like 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 it might minutes. take me 20 minutes just to drink the rest of my orange <laughs> juice because. I really wish I would known that about orange juice because I love orange juice. I bet milk, I mean, milk and orange juice, like. Yeah. Good combo. No, I, I don't think they would <laughs> Better be a good than the mix. chicken milkshake. Have you ever heard of pilk? No. Pepsi milk? Mmm. I, mm-mm. you know, it's a thing in, um, I can't remember what state, but it's like, it's not, it's like a, su- it's a Southern state, but more inland that you put, is it Red Bull in milk and it coagulates the milk no. at the top. That's gross. And it's like a statewide thing for some reason. And it is disgusting. That sounds disgusting. It's like Red Bull yogurt. Yeah. Mm-mm. Red Bull is also the spawn of the devil. I agree. I don't do well with caffeine. I don't drink any coffee or anything like that, so Red Bull and Monster would kill me. Um, all right, off-topic question, actually. What's the best juice? Just juice? Juice. Um, grape? Really? I actually haven't heard that. Hey, yeah. Juice. Big orange juice fan. Mm-hmm. Specifically the 
white grape juice. The purple grape that. juice isn't the same. Yeah, white grape juice. I don't think I've ever had that. But usually the arguments between like, oh, apple juice and orange juice. Like, what's the best juice? Sorry, apple juice ain't it. It's the truth. Orange juice just 100%. I mean, it's good, but like over orange juice? As an adult, if I'm going to the store, I'm going to purchase orange juice. Yeah. Apple juice would... If I, did Sneed say apple juice? No, I didn't ask him that question. Oh, I feel like but Sneed would be an apple juice guy. He would be. So I feel like it's in society's norms to be like adults orange juice. Yes. So I feel like there are like the inner children of some adults that are like, I love apple juice. Yeah. And then just, they just buy a lot of apple juice. Mm -hmm. And Sneed seems like he buys a lot of apple juice. He does. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. This is a I big think one. this is the most sauce I've put on any of them. And I will regret this. Oh, you 100%. I'm very similar with mine. But that doesn't matter. Blank thoughts. No think. Okay. Eat. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just going to blow up the mic. I am so sorry. <laughs> Bob, I coughed right into that. That one's bad. Oh yeah, it's bad. There's still two more. Mm-hmm. Uh. <clears throat> I'm debating on drinking some ranch. Drinking? Drinking. Why? Um, I feel like it would help. I'm getting hiccups. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. The air is spicy that I'm oh breathing God. in. It's in the back of my throat. Yep. Same. I thought like swallowing it faster would be the best option. It wasn't the best option. No. I almost cried. Mm. You are crying. A little bit. Am you, I crying? Almost. We're crying. <sighs> it hurts to breathe Maybe out. Maybe I should gargle it. I feel like I'm in fight or flight mode right now. Yeah. No, we are. Like, you really just want to get up and walk around the room right yeah. now, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's the most sauce I've ever, of that sauce I've ever put on anything. Bad decision. Really humbling. What a piece of bread? Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe. Usually I ask that question. Where's my bread? I forgot it, I think. Or maybe it's in my bag and I didn't see it. Thank you. Some ranch on your bread? Mm hmm. I'm not a ranch enthusiast. I have to be because I'm from the Midwest. I understand. Mm. How are your March Madness brackets doing? Horribly. Mm. That one team that couldn't pay to get their cheerleaders here mm -hmm. really messed everything up for me. Gotcha. Awesome. Super cool. But yeah. So not, not well. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not one for uh, any sort of sports gambling, but it's so easy. Mm -hmm. They make Spell it so bracket. accessible. 
not yeah. know what the heck's going on. Last year, I did get third place. Wow, okay. Wow. <clears throat> yep. All right, hand me that second to last sauce. I think I'm good. Oh, I'm definitely coming down off of it. Yeah. Still, it hurts to breathe out. So I was gonna, this was brand new orange juice. I was gonna get a thermos to put some in this morning. Oh, gotcha. And then I thought to myself, no, I'm gonna take the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I took the whole thing. Like, I'm kinda, I'm running low on milk. And I have more milk from like two weeks ago. I might, I you might would, have to. You, that desperate? We're getting there? Yeah, oh, it's from the last hot takes I filmed. Oh. Do they still serve the cartons of milk in the cafeteria? Hmm. That's a good question. I might have to call Anthony to do that for me. <sighs> All right. Sauce number nine. Hellfire hot sauce. Stream black garlic. I'm going to get us some, some more bread. <sighs> Just in case, yeah. you want another piece of bread? I got, still have mine. Okay. Um. I'm starting to think Google was full of crap. <sighs> really? Um. Oh my God, it smells so hot. Oh, I went straight into my nostrils. Okay, so I won't smell it. No. I had it below me, like in my lap, and it went all the way up. Whew. It feels good that somebody else is actually struggling with me. You're welcome. Because I feel like I have to be tougher with other people when they're nope. being tough. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Run deeper then. Take it. Look at me. Ugh. Let's go. I want to smash the table. Huh. Yeah. That also tastes really bad. Yeah, it's not good. Oh my God. Immediate regret. Mm -hmm. Wow. Not good. Doing great though. Just slightly unwell. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. My yeah. stomach feels awful. Yeah. Yeah. I think the third, like the seventh sauce, or eighth sauce, does so much damage to your taste buds that it makes the other ones just a little bit easier. But still not fun. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm coming down off of it, actually. My tongue is on fire. <sighs> I think you put a little bit more than I did. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Almost on the last sauce. How are you feeling? Not well. You think you'll be able to get through it? Do I have a choice? 
You do, actually. But I would, I would think, think mentally that you don't have a choice. Yeah. That you need to do this. Yeah. You just have to take one more bite. Just one more. One more bite. That's all it is. Just one more. Do you have any last hot takes for the audience? Don't do this at home. Yeah. If you do, maybe some ice cream. I uh, yeah, ice cream would be really nice. Some <laughs> vanilla bean ice cream, just. Yeah. I actually have popsicles in my fridge upstairs. Really? I think I'm gonna grab one. Yeah. I might come with you. <clears throat> the thing about these mics are so great. We used to have like a boom mic. Is that when we get serious and quiet because of how much we're suffering, they can still hear us. And that's a big thing with the other ones, like Mr. Banker, and Mr. Sneed. Like, and throughout the episode, it's like they like the farther we go down, the quieter we get, just yeah. because we're like, okay, mm -hmm. just one more. And it's like, all right, just two more. This is all you're doing the whole time, but yeah. How's the orange juice working out for you? Um, I, I, uh, eh. eh. When I breathe out, I feel like I'm breathing fire. Yeah, that's that's reoccurring. I feel like that's happening with me as well. And we have so much time, so <laughs> take your time. Uh. In one minute, I think we go to the next one. Okay. So just deep breaths. I'm not doing as much as I did on the last one. Uh uh. <clears throat> Do you have any opinions to make the audience mad? Opinions to yeah. make the audience mad? Some some heated opinions. Unpopular opinion. Hmm. I don't know. I'm on the spot, man. <clears throat> I feel like I usually have some good ones, so. Huh. It's hard. It's sauce make your brain Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, no. Mm mm. God. Okay. We got a guest, Mr. Fob. He's actually gonna be subbing in for me for the last sauce and taking over it. You sure? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Fob. <clears throat> Do you want to put the sauce on first, shake it up a bit? Oh. A moment of silence. Yes. Nah, come on. A little bit more. Come on. That was a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You like doubled it. I know. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I wonder I if I can pat it off onto the bread. No, but what if you eat that bread later on accident? I'm not gonna grab that bread. All right. The Apollo, the hottest sauce. Actually, they may have just went up it with their new season. I don't know for sure, but this is the hottest sauce available on Hot Once. It's 2.2 million Scoville. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming bad. Three times hotter than the previous one. Numerically, at least. It's been an honor. Uh, Last one. All right. Wow. That one's salty. It really is. This one lasts a long time. It's everywhere. It's, it's, yeah. Just zen. Just gotta be zen. Do you have any words for Mr. Blankenship? He's going to be coming on next, I think. <coughs> Don't listen to Caesar when he tells you to put more sauce on it. 
because he brings the bottles. Yeah. Ugh. All right. I'm ready to finish up while we're suffering. I feel like I make some more entertaining. Well, yep. <sighs> thank you, Miss Schultz, for joining us on this adventure of heat. Anything you want to say to the audience before we head out? I can't feel my lips. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed your company mm -hmm. today. Um, <clears throat> great show. Great kid. Thank you. But I will never do this again. I totally uh, understand that. Thank you for being on here. It was great having you actually suffer a bit, unlike a lot of the other people. So I'm I feel like I you. can actually show how I really feel and how I'm dying. And that it's not as easy as I make it look sometimes. And that I just play it up for the camera to be like, oh, I'm the big tough guy who hosts the show. It's hard. This stuff's hot. And with that, thank you, everybody. I'm Cesar Enquist with Hot Takes. I am Peyton Schultz. <sighs> thank you. We did it. We did it.